We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Excuse the meme character. Um, it's one I haven't actually updated with World Particles yet, so I thought it'd be best to demonstrate it with this one. Uh, and this actually would have two, because it has cereal coming out the head and milk coming out the carton. Um, but if you've messed with particles before, like setting it to world space instead of local simulation space, um, you probably had some issues with it not spawning in the correct position. If you just set it to world in Unity and rotate it around, move it in play mode, you can see it looks fine. Um, but in VR chat, it's just not going to work if you're only attaching it to the armature. Let me actually explain what a rigid body does. Um, it's basically just a component that you use to attach objects to your armature without actually attaching them to the armature. Uh, there's some issue with just parenting world particles to your armature. So here, I created a game object, a cube. Um, looks like I've just created it on the main game object, the character. Um, but here I'm going to parent it to the actual milk. I only did this so I could set up the rotation easily. And now once you set the positioning right, um, you want to make sure you have the game object um, actually parented to the main body. Um, so that would just be your main game object that absolutely everything's parented to. Um, that's important for the rigid body, if it were parented anywhere else it wouldn't work. Now once you have your game objects all set up, you want to go to the armature or the hand, you know, wherever you've attached your weapon or wherever the particle system is coming out. You want to go to the hand, in this particular case, and add in a rigid body. So you just go into component on the hand, um, add a rigid body, just type in rigid, set the drag to zero, gravity unchecked and then check all of the uh, boxes for uh, position and rotation. All right, and once you've created the rigid body on the hand, you can go down to your game object. Of course, this may all be different in your case and you've already typed it in. You wanna add a fixed joint. So just type in fixed, fixed joint. Set the drag to zero, gravity off. Don't have to worry about constraints for this. And here, under connected body in the fixed joint, you want to drag your hand over. And that basically connects the rigid body with the fixed joint on your game object. So now that game object will follow the hand around. And one last note before you do animations or if you have animations, do not ever disable the actual game objects. You wanna keep those on all the time. If you disable the game objects, it loses the rotations and positions of the uh, rigid body. So make sure those are on all the time and only toggle the particle systems. And real quick, you might want to go through a kind of checklist. Make sure you have the rigid bodies on all the bones that you're attaching. Make sure those rigid bodies are attached to the fixed joints. Make sure all your particles are on the game objects. And make sure all those game objects are uh, only parented to the main game object. And the main game object is basically just, you know, whatever you've named the character, what everything is parented to. Um, make sure that's what the cubes are parented to, because anywhere else it breaks the... Uh, world particle so all right and that should be it you should be good you guys have a good one make some cool shit i love seeing what people make in this game um i have mixed feelings about the stuff i make i mean <laughs> look at this what what is happening what is this <laughs> anyways you guys have a good one have fun enjoy the game Upload,